Have you ever noticed that metal wires to TVs, computers, and appliances are wrapped in plastic or rubber? Or why are we not supposed to touch anything electrical with wet hands? In this video, we will go through what are the reasons for that. Electricity can flow through some things but not through others. Anything that allows electricity to flow through, it is a conductor. Conductors are materials or substances which allow electricity to flow through them. Metals are good conductors of electricity. They allow the electrons from atoms in them to flow easily, which makes them good conductors. Of all the materials, the top three are silver, copper, and aluminium. They conduct electricity because they allow electrons to flow easily inside them from atom to atom. Examples, metal screws, metal spoon, fork, knife, and metal key. But the most important role of a conductor is in making electrical wires and cables. Now, why people should not swim when lightning strikes? Water and damp air are also conductors of electricity but not as strong as metals. Hence, water allows electricity to flow through it. But how do we know if a material is a good conductor? Well, one way to test if an object is a good conductor of electricity is to use an open circuit. If a bulb lights when this object is a part of a circuit, then we know it is a good conductor of electricity. Then what do you think is the opposite of a conductor? Well, we called it insulator. An insulator is anything that doesn't allow electricity to pass through it. Insulators play an important part in protecting us from electricity. The electrons in this material do not move freely. That's why it will disrupt the flow of electricity and make a circuit incomplete because it doesn't allow electricity to flow through it. Insulator is used for separating the current, carrying conductors, and for supporting the electrical equipment. This is to prevent electricity from flowing and harming us or causing a fire. Examples, plastic, rubber, cloth, wood, paper, glass, and dry air. Then how do we know if a material is an insulator? Fortunately, one way to test if an object is a good insulator of electricity is to use an open circuit. If a bulb doesn't light when this object is a part of a circuit, then we know it is a good insulator of electricity. So, if you learned new things today, drop your comments below, like and share this video, subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notification from my upcoming video.